All right, so everything works so far. It starts, it runs, uh, we get good oil pressure, so that's a really, really good sign. However, it doesn't seem to run well. It idles kind of like it has a cam. So it's possible that I may have put the, uh, the crankshaft trigger wheel, which triggers when to fire the spark plugs, may have put that on backwards. Very common mistake, it goes on both ways, but only one way is correct. Or I may have mistimed the cams. Maybe it's off by a tooth. So uh, I'm gonna check the simpler thing. I'm gonna check to make sure that the crank pulley went on correctly. So this is a bit of pain in the butt. So I was working on the car off camera. Uh, the car starts, runs fine. Well, the, it runs poorly. That's why I was, I was looking at the uh, ECU trying to get it to, um, to idle. I was adjusting the tune and I noticed that the throttle position sensor wasn't giving any input, right? Um, something was wrong with it. I went to check on it. When I pulled on the harness, the connectors were loose. Well, not the connectors, the wiring. The wiring came apart. So I went to shut the car off, but I think the action of me moving the, con the wiring caused them to touch, shorting, and then frying the ECU. So I already replaced the connector. I put a, got a brand new connector, wired it up right. Uh, however, the damage has already been done. The ECU is fried. When I turn the key, uh, the check engine light doesn't come on. There's no power. There's no um, connection to the computer. So the ECU is fried, which means I need to take it out and send it to DIY Auto-Tune for them to repair it. Uh, more than likely, it probably just fried the, uh, what you call it, the trace on the ECU that feeds power to it. Uh, it's another hundred bucks I gotta spend.
Alright guys, so I got the fuse in, popped into the ECU, put the ECU back together, put the ECU back into the car, did all that off camera because honestly, it's there's not much to record anyway and it's kind of a pain in the butt, you know, coming in and out of the car, so uh, now that all that's left, start the car back up, tune the idle, uh, and get to it, you know. Uh, once I've got the idle tuned, I think I'm going to mess with the ignition timing, mess with the fuel timing, you know, a little bit, because this is essentially a brand new motor. Right, it's a completely different motor because the original motor is 10 to 1 compression. Right, uh, same turbo, you know, same everything else. But the uh, the drop in compression means that effectively this is a completely different engine than what we started with. So I need to completely retune the car. So you know, it is what it is. Let's get to it. Oh my god. It finally runs, it runs, it runs. Man. Oh, I haven't driven this car since like September when it blew up. I'm finally gonna be able to drive this pretty soon. Of course I still gotta get it off the jack stands. There's a couple more things I need to button up, I need to put the bumper back on. Uh, but everything is hooked up, you know? So I've been letting um I've been using a, a tuner studio to uh, sort of use DIY auto tune and let it, you know, tune itself a little bit. I tried tuning on my own and just, it's a wild goose case chase because you're just sitting there chasing, you know, numbers trying to get it to idle right. And uh, I just loaded up into, I just loaded the uh, tune analyze live, you know, auto tune. I loaded up um, the idle VE table, let it auto tune the fuel VE and uh, just let it rip and it just, it figured itself out within like uh, 30 seconds. I have a smooth idle, you know. Let me show you this. So, yeah, like there it goes again. It still has the occasional thing where it just kind of shuts off and then I have to start it back up. I'm still trying to figure that one out. Uh, I think it's after you're revving it a bit, uh, it might have something to do with um, the idle, more fueling. Uh, I think, you know, you rev it up, we rev it up, rev it up, and then when it settles back down, it's trying to find itself and it just shuts off because it can't continue running. Um, so, still a couple of kinks to work out, but uh, I'm going to finish up here, get the idle nice and smooth, everything running right. Uh, looks like the thermostat and everything's been bled, so there's no air in the system. So, um, yeah, once this is uh, buttoned back up and put back together, we can take it for a drive.
All right, let's go.